Moviegoers remember some landmark films. How Green Was My Valley, The Rains King, The Late George Apley, David and Bathsheba, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, Pinky, Ten North Frederick, The Agony and the Ecstasy. Those were just a few of the screenplays written by one of the cinema's most prolific authors, the recipient of the Writers Guild's highest honor, the Laurel Award. He is here to bestow this year's Oscars for screenwriting, Mr. Philip Dunn. Thank you, Walter. After that introduction, I feel a little like the late George Apley. Whether a writer uses a quill pen, a lead pencil, a battered typewriter with missing letters, or a mind-boggling new word processor, he'd better start with an idea. Movies are ideas, and the screenplay is the art form that expresses them. That fact is too often overlooked by audiences and reviewers, but never by those who make the movies. And so we salute the nominations for the best screenplay written directly for the screen. This year they are Barry Levinson for Dinah, Melissa Matheson for E.T., The Extraterrestrial. John Briley for Gandhi. Douglas Day Stewart for An Officer and a Gentleman. Larry Gelbart, Murray Shizgal, and Don McGuire for Tootsie. And now for the winner. The winner is John Briley for Gandhi. I wrote a long movie. I'm going to make a long speech. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, like everybody who stands up here, I've got a lot of debts. I just want to acknowledge three. One to Dickie, uh, Sir Richard, uh, for having the faith and courage to trust me with his dream, put up with me once it became mine too, <clears throat> and fulfilling both our dreams uh, with uh, such brilliance and honesty. And to Ben, uh, for a performance that went beyond dreams, uh, for me, it's still emotional to watch Ben, although I've seen it like 50 or 60 times. I think it's so moving and so profound that it does an honor to our whole industry and justice even to the man that inspired the whole film. And then I would like to thank Gandhi himself. When I came to this material, I despaired for it as drama, and I didn't think it had much relevance in a world as cruel and as harsh as ours. But as I came to know the man, I found that he knew everything we all know about uh, our cruelty, our selfishness, our greed, our fears. Uh, but he also had a faith in the kind of stubborn resolution that we all have uh, to be a little humane, to be a little understanding, to be a little even brotherly. And he lived his life in a way that showed that if we called upon that in ourselves and in our enemies, that there was hope for each of us and maybe for this planet. He gave me that. <clears throat> I tried in writing the screenplay to give it back in a way that he would have proved. I thank him, I thank you. After some 50 years of grappled with the challenge of adapting other authors' published works, I have enormous admiration and more than a touch of envy for the inventive writers nominated for the best screenplay based on material from another medium. They are Wolfgang Peterson for Das Boot, <laughs> Ben 
Costa Gavras and Donald Stewart for missing. <laughs> Alan J. Pakula for Sophie's Choice. <laughs> David Mamet for the verdict. <laughs> Blake Edwards for Victor Victoria. <laughs> and the winner in this envelope is Costa Gavras and Donald Stewart Commission. Accepting the Screenplay Adaptation Award for Missing, Mr. Donald Stewart. On behalf of my co-writer and friend, Costa Gavras, I'd like to thank the members of the Academy that voted us this award. We owe it to a lot of very brave people who gave their art and their hearts to Missing. But above all, we owe it to Charles Edmund Horman. Thank you.